Okay, bucket drill um, for advanced slow rollers. The slow roller is the ball that they got to attack and they got to go get to cut off the distance. So what we do is we move the buckets back a little bit. I'm going to throw my glove out, so I want you guys to field the ball somewhere close to the glove. We want them attacking the angle of the hitter. So where the hitter's hitting the ball, they want to go directly at the angle. The first one we're going to do is what we call a shuffle step through. Okay, a shuffle step through is where they got to go get it, feel it like they're coming through a ball in the outfield, but they got to stop their feet, gain ground towards first base. Okay, shuffle step throughs. Go ahead, go. They're running hard, they're pumping their arms, controlling their feet, and then making a throw. As they feel the ball, they bring it back up into a good, strong, quick throwing position, moving their feet. This is a play where they got to attack the ball, but they have time to still set up and make a play. So it is a slow roller, but it's a, it's a play where they have time to control their feet, maybe a slow runner, that kind of thing. So it's just like the footwork as, as far as coming through a ground ball in the outfield. They're feeling the ball off the left side of their left foot, but they're working on stopping their body, controlling their feet, make a good, strong throw. Okay, one more. Shuffle step throughs. Okay, from that, what we can do is we can go from different angles. So what I'm gonna do is move the glove over here. You guys are gonna go around here. So you gotta slowly hit ball that's to their backhand side, but they don't have time to backhand the ball. So they can use a shuffle step through to go make this play. So you guys get around James's glove. You guys get around my glove. Shuffle step through around the glove. Ready, go. Good. Pump your arms. Make sure you guys are cutting the distance off. Get to the ball. Control your feet, control your body. There you go. Good. Good job, dudes. So this is a slowly hit ball to their right side where they have time to stop and control their feet. Good. Notice that they're all pumping their, pumping their arms and getting to the spot they're trying to get to to cut the distance off. Last one, Liskey. Good job, Fieldsy. Okay. Shovel step throughs. Next, what we're going to do is just a normal, uh, what we call one-hander. One-hander is the same form as a shuffle step through. They're feeling the ball off the left side of their left foot, but they're throwing the ball on the run. Anytime we're throwing the ball on the run, they're trying to plant on their right foot so they can create torque with their arm action. So everybody's gonna continue to feel the ball somewhere right by my glove, continue to run and throw the ball on the run, okay? This is where they gotta be really good about working on different arm angles, depending on the angle of the ball. That's why we work on this stuff when we play catching with four corners and stuff like this for, the, for, this, for this play right here, okay? Go ahead, on the run, one-handers, go ahead. Don't stop, continue to run. Good. So they're working on trying to transfer the ball out of their glove quickly and make a good, strong, accurate throw on the run. The accuracy of their throws is only going to come with repetitions done like this in bucket drill. Most of the time, their throws are going to be all over the place. These guys have done this forever, so they can understand what arm angles are for. Okay, last one. Okay. I'm not going to have them do it right now, but we can do the same thing depending on angles. We can go up the middle, to their left, to their right. Uh, so you can just put a cone or a glove or a ball out, moving them there. What we're going to do right now is work on a two-hander. So a two-hander, let's just go in the same, let's go up the middle a little bit. Move your glove this way so they can see the different angles. So a two-hander is going to be the same effect as far as attacking the ball, but instead of fielding it off their left side of their left foot, they're going to field it off the inside of their left foot. So they're going to field it here on the back side here and they're going to throw it on that first step. So again, it's an on the run play, but now we're going to work on to their left a little bit. This is a two handed slow roller moving to their left. We ready? Go ahead, Paul. So they got to circle the ball to their left. They want to get around the left side of the ball and not to the right side of the ball on this play. And they're trying to actually catch it, field it and throw it all in one motion. If their feet are under control, they should be able to make this play. Oh my goodness, Jose. Again, the bucket drill doing these things allows us as coaches to be able to work with them if they're doing something wrong during this time, as well as getting quality repetitions done right. Last one, Cody. Okay, that's uh, two-handed. Now we're gonna do a bare-hander. Bare-hander is kind of a do-or-die type of play. Uh, younger kids love to do this play. They are going to have to use it at some point. Uh, sometimes the only play for a player to make a play on a bunt or a slowly hit ball is to actually field it with their bare hand and throw it. It's the same exact footwork as a two-handed slow roller. Their left foot's forward, but instead of going down with two hands, they go down with their bare hand. Their hand's behind the ball, and they come up and throw it all in the same motion. Okay, so you guys are gonna put the ball in your bare hand now, not in your glove, and you're gonna make a bare-handed play. Get your glove, or get your ball down on the ground, and then throw it. As you can tell, all these different plays allows these kids to become more athletic, 
and to be able to handle any situation in a game without having to think about it. So if we do these repetitions by doing bucket drill where they're just doing it over and over and over, it allows them to let it happen in a game naturally, not having to think. Okay, that's good. Last one we're going to do is a, what we call a backhanded slow roller. Backhanded slow roller is a play that a lot of big leaguers will make, but they'll have to make if, it, if the ball deflects off a pitcher or something like that. So what they're going to do is they're going to run at it, and instead of going with two hands this way, they're going to go from a backhand position, catch, transfer, and throw. Again, all these plays are going to be used on a field occasionally. They're not going to be used all the time, but if we can teach the kids to do it properly in a game, nothing is going to phase them. They, they've done it a million times. They'll be able to do it over and over without it thinking about it. Okay, backhanded slow roller, go. Go get it, pump your arms, throw it on the run. Good. Again, you definitely have to be advanced to make a backhanded play like this. Woo! If you do mess up your transfer, you notice that they keep running. Paul on that last one, he messed up his transfer. The ball got out of his glove. Funky, but they keep running. Continue to run. Good. All right, that's it. That's slow rollers for bucket drill.